The translating uh, for Patricia will be Kirsten Dobb. Please welcome Patricia Boratica. I'd first, I'd first like to say um, something that we say in Colombia often. One woman, one man working in peace can change that man and that woman. Many women and many men working in peace can change war into peace. Como lo han dicho aquí, las guerras as has been said here many times already, uh, wealth is often at the root of war, and Colombia is a very rich country but it's in its natural resources, but it's very poor in that its population is very poor because of the way they're distributed. Colombia tiene 41 millones de habitantes. Colombia has 41 million people, uh, the population, and and 30 million are really living in a state of poverty. Eh, Colombia tiene un contexto de conflicto armado. Colombia has been in a state of war for many years, uh, more than 50 years. I was born in a state of war, but I hope to die in a state of peace. Eh, es un país que tiene hoy una alta crisis uh, today there is, uh, is a country in great conflict because of the por la falta de democracia. Uh, for the lack of dem democracy y la mal distribución in the poor distribution of wealth eh, muchas de sus poblaciones Many populations have suffered from this war, first at the hands of the uh, uh, rebel movement and also from the par paramilitaries and from a lack of government rules of uh, development policy. Uh, there are three main actors um, in the armed conflict. The, the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, the National Liberation Army, and the Self-Defense Unitary Units of Colombia, which are paramilitaries. Los tres grupos han, uh, these groups have been the perpetrators of great human rights violations, amongst them um, massacres, displacement, terrorist acts in cities, and, uh, and uh, uh, putting in mines, anti-personnel mines, um, and disappearances of uh, various people for economic and political ends. En Colombia acrecienta el conflicto la presencia de el narcotráfico. The drug trade in Colombia has contributed to this conflict as different armed groups use drug trade in order to finance their efforts. Estados Unidos interviene. The United States has contributed to this by providing funding for military who supposedly are fighting the drug trade, but who are really uh, fighting the civil population. In Colombia, se ha decretado una cifra, una crisis humanitaria. The humanitarian crisis in Colombia can be seen with a few uh, facts, a few figures. Uh, there are two and a half million people displaced in Colombia, which is almost the population of all of Greater Vancouver. Se registran en los últimos diez años doce mil. There have been 12,338 uh, extrajudicial executions on record so far. 4,388 massacres that have left 23,607 victims. Dos millones de personas en el exilio. Two million people in exile and 3,600 unionists murdered. Eh, el abuso sexual con the sexual abuse of women is a permanent uh, weapon against people in all the popu in all war efforts. En Colombia se han hecho muchos intentos para la paz. There have been numerous attempts for peace in Colombia. There have been over 40 pacts for peace in different times, but none of them has achieved a sustainable and lasting peace. 
Eh, han facilitado países, eh, or, eh, a number of groups such as uh, government groups, non-governmental groups, churches, so civil, so civil associations have tried to achieve peace but have never been able to get all the different players to sit down. Eh, actualmente, el presidente re Currently, the uh, re recently re-elected President Uribe, who is the, a, uh, uh, just a perfect reproduction of Bush, eh, implementa su política implement de his, uh, democratic security project. Ha implementado redes de He's created networks of cooperants and informants all throughout the country. Y involucra and he has uh, involved the peasant community in accusing other people of being terrorists. Esto lo llamamos, we call that wanting to militarize the civil society. Eh, particularmente la gente the population believes that Uribe, like with, along with Bush, is going to save them from war. Y algunos sienten, and some people think that he's the great messiah, the great saver of Colombia. Todo lo que tienen es what we really, what they really have is uh, fear and being tired of the war. Actualmente las organizaciones de paz están. Uh, currently, the peace organizations we are asking for a inter, inter an exchange of uh, prisoners for uh, for qué presos por por personas secuestradas for people who have been um, uh, kidnapped. Desde mitad del año pasado, in the past year, there's been the beginnings of a process of negotiation with the National Liberation Army. Y queremos agradecerle al pueblo de Cuba que está facilitando estos diálogos de paz en la ciudad de La Habana. And we'd like to thank Cuba, which is facilitating those peace dialogues in the city of La Habana. Eh, desde abril de 2006. Desde el 2003, eh, Uribe, since 2003, Uribe has been developing, has been carrying out a process of demobilization and dearming with the paramilitary group. Eh, se han desmovilizado 30,150 members of the auto, auto defense units have been demobilized. Eh, los paramilitares ha sido uno de los ejércitos más crueles con la población. The paramilitaries have been some of the most cruel armies with the population. It's estimated that they've uh, appropriated um, three to four thousand hectares of cultivable land in the country. Million, million, sorry. Este, el, eh, los paramilitares hoy eh, son un proceso que está muy... This demobilization process is one that's very questioned in Colombia because the paramilitaries have traditionally been accused of, been thought of having, being linked with and working under the government control. Hay una gran tensión entre la desmovilización... There's a great tension within this desmobilization because those being demobilized do not want to submit themselves to a law of peace. Hoy los paramilitares tienen todas las garantías, tienen auxilios, tienen salarios, mientras que a los desplazados no tienen atención. Uh, today, paramilitaries have salaries, they have uh, ex, uh, 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 atención. Um, they have uh, 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 safe, they are safe, um, and those who are displaced, are, no attention is given to them. Eh, se ha exigido y en Colombia hoy lo que estamos viendo es que fighting for social justice have always been uh, accused of being have always been victimized uh, have always been accused of being terrorists. Eh, por eso eh, so in a country in war the first thing to suffer are our social rights, economic rights, and political rights. Eh, creemos que el, we think that conflict will end when the policies of when public policies are not only for some few people but for all. Eh, por eso yo quiero hacer un llamado a todos ustedes. So I would like to make a call to you who are here. Uh, when I uh, began working with the union, the fight was the struggle of the guerrilla within the mountains. Y la guerra fue and war was knocking on the door of all the homes in Colombia. 
Hoy no hay ni una In Colombia, there is no family that has not has does not have a family member who has been killed, disappeared, uh, or affected by disappearances or displacements. Desde hace diez años, uh, when I hear you talking about creating commissions for peace in your union, uh, ten years ago, there wasn't even a single commission for uh, no, there was not a single union with a committee for human rights and unions. Y cuando la and when the conflict began uh, touching all of us. Hoy, en todos los sindicatos, now there is in each union a commission that is called the rights, uh, human rights and peace. Eh, yo espero que a ustedes no, no les ocurra lo mismo, que no esperen que la guerra llegue a su casa para formar los comités de paz. Muchísimas gracias. I hope that you do not do the same, that you do not wait until war is knocking on your door to form committees of peace. Thank you very much.